when you have followed my channel this is say the kind of uh, block capacitor here uh, I made two of them one uh, is meant for the local oscillator and one for the antenna coil when we look at the super heterodyne radio we need that uh, we need a local oscillator and an antenna coil that is tuned to almost the same frequency though of course uh, the intermediate frequency in general <coughs> uh, 460 kilohertz <coughs> sorry uh, 455 kilohertz A difference between the radio signal that is received on the antenna and the radio signal that is generated here for instance here in the local oscillator um, anyway that's important so different tuning for the antenna and the local oscillator well uh, I made this kind of very very simple uh, a capacitor that can be tuned here with this knob here and here and uh, I have already made another video about it so anyway so here we change the the difference between two capacitor plates here this is the one that moves here you can see it and here is say on the back side of the front um, the other plate and that plate is connected to ground I have now connected the whole ID to a more or less simple uh, local oscillator circuit with a field effect transistor and you see the schematic it's out of my book retro radio retro radio it's made it in that book it was made with a bf245b but that is now obsolete so we can use the bf256b and uh, here i'm talking when you read the description that you can make that sm uh, i name it a choke Coil, but anyway that's only a word you can uh, use a 470 micro Henry coil and you can buy that on Ali or wherever so you see that coil here uh, by the way here here is that coil by the way it is crucial for oscillating or not oscillating so uh, uh, in the earlier videos on YouTube I have also talked about this coil and told that you you can or must make that yourself uh, via say 300 windings of very thin uh, lacquered wire or 500 windings etc etc but um, I found that this say uh, coil out of my stock here all kinds of micro Henry and milli Henry coils also did work nice anyway um well what's the idea about this kind of book capacitor it must tune of course the local oscillator and you see the waveform of the local oscillator and here it is on 5.9 uh, megahertz this is a, of course a very very bad waveform so I have to cure that in one or another way uh, it will take more time and uh, when you follow the, the all the say ideas and instructions of this old book that I made in the past uh, you will see that you can make a extremely pure sine wave with this circuit 
anyway, um, so, uh, so perhaps there must be some components must be changed a little bit. Anyway, and especially the, the capacitors. But uh, the more interesting thing is, of course, how does this, say, block capacitor work? Does it work nice? Can we tune in to certain radio stations? And, of course, uh, with the ID, and that's not realized, it must be tested over and over, anyway, um, that we can here, say, change in a certain way the frequency of the local oscillator. Well, let's look. Uh, don't look at the waveform, it's bad. So, anyway, I now turn that here, that book capacitor, and let's see what it can bring. That's, of course, as a first experiment, a good idea. So, uh, here, 5.9 megahertz. I tune now the capacitor plates of that book, book type capacitor to their maximum, their maximum capacitance value. And here we are on, <coughs> sorry, 5.7 megahertz. Now I make the capacitance smaller by tuning that cap again and of course we must now see that the frequency goes up. Here, see, moving and moving here that plate. So let's see where it can bring us 5.9 megahertz and the good thing of it all is that the fine tuning is quite okay so what's the results the maximum capacitor plates are now uh, here, maximum distance of the capacitor plates, it's now 5.9 megahertz. And of course, I have to say, I have to tell that I have here uh, that, say, more or less fixed um, coil. That is very, very important because uh, this is say a fixed coil between 3.6 and 4.7 megacycles when uh, tested on the oscillator. But of course, uh, when I turn here these plates, it they are paralleled in a certain way here. The plates here are paralleled here with. Uh, the fixed value capacitor that is present here inside that uh, tuned coil. So my say my difference here is related to the uh, the capacitor that is built in inside this coil. So anyway, uh, it means that I only can give say more or less uh, first ID about how to tune uh, the local oscillator here. And here is the schematic again. Could be useful and helpful. And thanks for thanks for watching. Let's look again could be that my camera suddenly stops, but anyway, here is that coil, and now we parallel the internal capacitance here with that, say, block capacitor. So, okay, let's look. Very interesting for, for a first experiment. We can tune in here now. 
from let's say 5.8 megahertz 5.7 megahertz 5.6 megahertz up to I have to be quick 5.6 megahertz up to uh, 5.9 and I think it is a quite good range 5.9 etc etc so there is a real bandwidth possible with the help of that say block capacitor out of the 1920s thanks for watching this is a bad waveform but anyway uh, I think it can work nice in the future